What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian, and yes, I am back, uh, this time hopefully for good, and I decided the best thing to do was to go back some of, you know, an old game I used to play back in 2001 when it came out, and let's take a look how that, you know, how it's looking at uh, 2023, and the game is Anarchy Online, that's from Funcon. I had a lot of good times in this game. I mean, I played for years. Um, I think what kind of killed me a bit was Shadowlands. What is was the best expansion of there, so I heard. Um, what's just, I was too involved in the old Anarchy Online from the beginning, and I think I didn't fluctuate well enough. Now, this time, instead of just playing for a few days, I'm gonna be playing the whole month this game. Um, I am going to be playing with the expansions. I know it's a miracle, but um, it is worth it. So let's try out. Let's see how the game is. Uh, the population right now, uh, they have about 176,000 uh, subscribers, but a daily count of players is about just 1%. It's uh, 1.6,000. And... Without further ado, uh, let's start. New character. So, to be honest with you guys, while this thing goes on, um, one of the most amazing things that when I played the game first, alright, let me fix this audio really quick. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, that's what happens when you don't record for a while. Uh, your audio gets all messed up. Anywho, so I am going to try to do an old boat goody, but goody. Uh, actually, no. Let me try something I never played before. Uh, Aatrox selected. What is a kipper? All right. Please choose your appearance. So, I am playing right now in the new um, engine. What well, seems to be more three D, but it's still yeah. It just looks kind of okayish. Now, just remember, guys. Uh, one of the main things is this game came out in 2001 and whatever engine Funcon use, uh, you know, it didn't age well. It would be great if they had made in Unreal, um, but they didn't. And when they kind of updated the engine, they, I think they had limitations on. Now, one thing I love about this game is it was a revolution for MMORPGs. Please select a profession. And to be honest, even today, to this day, you do not have um, Keeper selected. a game this good. It's uh, so the options, how the classes they work, you don't have games like this. Um, it, it was never made. It was something. Please name your character. Almost impossible uh, to be done at the time. And, you know, they still did it. Uh, the game used to run kind of like lag every now and then because population was so high at the time. I tried to find out numbers, but I could not find it. So, well, just got to have to believe me. Uh, what really killed this game was basically uh, Star Wars Galaxies and WoW. So... You know, World of Warcraft. That's what killed this game. People were waiting for so long. This game came up and people just exited. Alright, so look how cool it is. Game barely started and someone's trying to sell me something. That's alright, can't hate. Okay, so no, I am not buying anything. Um, I believe I'm supposed to have some free stuff. 
All right, so welcome to daily rewards. Once per day, once per account, blah, 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 blah. And I probably, okay, whatever it is, sounds good. All right, I know, come bias, but I have always been a nominee. Hello, citizen. And I will stay as a nominee tech. Oh my god, it's so weird to try to remember all that stuff. There you go, character. Oh my god. Oh, 20, okay. Alright, so that's a problem. Uh, I'm looking for the backyard and it doesn't seem to be a thing. But it's very weird where I just kind of like missed. Okay, so let's see. Okay, probably here. And it's not going well for me. look for the body all right so after remembering how long it takes for me to be able to actually Welcome, my friend. find uh, <laughs> all those corpus you know in the woods when you can barely see them and fixing the size of the screen I decided to get a soldier just to make my life a little bit easier I actually miss uh, the last place we had to be able to actually fight in here, but you know, um, Hello, let's citizen. go in here. Well, like I said, in here it's almost impossible to find those things, so I gotta move to a more open area, I guess. sit down and heal a little bit still can't find those things sometimes all right my first level <laughs> Let's see the good things I can do. Jesus. Alright, so basically here, in the beginning, just raise everything. Actually, not intelligence. Uh, it's the best thing. It's just put everything you need to raise. I'm not fully sure. I think in it, it, most parts, just when you go abilities, uh, just go. Body and defense. Usually if something is actually green, it's really good. If that's light blue, you're probably not going to use as much unless it's computer literacy that you need to put in plants and stuff. And those are the ones that you usually get stingy about. Melee weapons you're not going to be using. Ranged weapons. Uh, a lot of those you don't have to worry about. If you're using assault rifle, just go assault rifle. If you use pistol, go pistol. Uh, you may want to look later on the requirements for your specific weapon um, and just add up to that. I still think I'm too low to do anything, but let me just get out of here because I think I'm going to fall asleep. So back in the day, those used to be your apartments. And the moment you enter one, it would become yours right so you could come in here and actually live in the problem is I remember my apartment I got it on 
and well that was a problem afterwards because I could not find it ever again and I think I tried every single one of them by the way this game was always considered to have the best music in pretty much any of those games uh, in the most in the beginning in 2001 they composed some crazy stuff and it was really really amazing so now I want to go to nope okay so I'm in Omni trade then not the wreck I think I oh my god no I forgot but it's some of those places like death And oh my god, it lags. Alright, so let's explore in here because this is the world of Shadowlands. Uh, something I didn't use as much, but hopefully I can find my way back here afterwards. And I have no map, so probably a horrible, horrible idea. Let me just get back, let me go to Rome, where I can actually get the maps. And I'm already lost in this place. Oh my god, I finally found it. This is crazy, man. Okay, let me go to the place I know I should be going right now. Because I know where to get to and from. So let me go to Rome. Now one thing I realized, like, this world is empty. I did pass by a couple of characters, a small group, about three or four. Uh... But yeah, it's pretty empty right now. It's a Saturday. This thing used to be to the point that every time you you would log in to a certain place, that's why I used to always love Rome. Rome wasn't empty, but it wasn't as crowded as. Uh, but I swear I got it was impossible. Sometimes you even crash. So the best thing for me right now is let me get a mission. And let me get that as hard as I can. What honestly, it's not gonna be that hard. Usually a kill is pretty good. Um, I'm not looking for anything mostly in particular. You definitely don't want those missions because uh, while they're easy for the most part, you have to bring an item to a character. What means you may have to travel back and forth and try to figure out the teleporters. What, in the beginning, if you just started, you really don't want to. It used to annoy the hell out of me. The only times I used to get those is if I needed, like, free implants. Uh, so you look at, you know, what they have. You can always change, go again, boom. No. Or you can actually come in down here and say, what type? So I want that. So and I want chaos and I want open because that usually means if you put open it means usually the mission is inside of the towns so you're not having to actually try to find a cave somewhere uh, I forgot but there is a couple of special items you can get from caves caves are not horrible it's just gets very disorienting um, I want a physical I want a hat on, yeah, stealth, 
not good for you, and I want a lot of XP. Now I'm gonna request missions again. There you go. You can take a look at the mission so you know where's that on. Uploads map, accept mission. Now, one thing, uh, every time pos as possible, uh, if you can group with people or if you have other accounts that you can group with yourself, it's great because if you go on team missions, you actually get a lot more XP a lot faster. Um, and you get the number of items as the other characters. So I'm probably going to be doing that, not today. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a good plan. I have a couple of other accounts. But they can't come in this server, so I need to figure out how I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll find some people, you know. And there you go, there's the mission. Alright, so to start, nice energy drink. And let's go to our first mission. Uh, that should be a breeze, by the way. Uh, the best thing is to complete 100%, so kill everything, get on every single room. And make sure to buff up prior to it. Now the only problem is that guy is like so small. Mm. So okay, I came from here, got it. <coughs> but there guys, so easy to get lost in here. And most because the moment this map's big, uh, this just becomes so small. Alright, so nothing in. Got a chest. Nothing to see here. Alright, so I found my mark, and she's going down, and I just level, complete the mission, uh, it's pretty good XP if you try to actually level without doing this, you are insane. Now, there are some places that, yes, you can actually get better XP, uh, there are some dungeons, they're fine, but in general, if you go in the woods, not the best place. Alright, so I just realized I didn't read the mission and I had to actually kill this chick with the knife. So, delete this mission, yes. Oh my god, so that's a problem in the most first soldier, like, yeah, sure, I could be able to put on that knife and just kill the other character, but Yep, my mistake. Uh, no cigar, I guess. So, let's go for the next mission. Come on, man. You're almost dying. Just, just drop. Come on. One more. You can do it. I feel like I'm gonna end up dying. Oh, finally! Okay, good. So...
Da, 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 da. Let me see. Oh my god, that's not the guy. That's the one. All right. Give a crit. <laughs> yes. All right, finally. Finally, I actually complete the mission. And hopefully I'm not going to get one of those ever again. And she got nothing. Oh my god. Alright guys, so I decided to do something crazy. Not really. Uh, and basically what I did was I decided to come in to regular Rubica, not Rubica 2019. Uh, just for me to find out that it's 20 times better. Basically because... Well, um you probably have a better chance to get good stuff in here. Um, main reason is you actually start in the junkyard. What is probably the best place to do so since, well, you can actually get better weapons, better everything. Because, to be honest with you guys, uh, where I was Oh my god, it made no sense. I mean, I be in the backyard, uh, I guess they they did a kind of like how the game used to be played. Not the best, just saying. Uh, you know, most with the changes and right now I'm actually doing a complete new character. I think I tried at some point in my life and that was a shade. Um, one of the things is, I think for me to actually get both weapons in, I need to go to my clothing, I mean weapons, and actually place on the left hand. Yes, that's correct. So you can't just right click, you have to actually go there. What is okay, um, just learning curve. I didn't see the boss. Oh my god. I was sitting there just chilling. Yeah, so that's the difference too. Like, you see the boss, you're gonna have like this, uh, force field around him and the best thing is they usually give you pretty decent stuff or at least better than you know what he start with and better than I was getting the other place so yeah all right so I guess I'm not strong enough to kill this thing so let me run away while I can get out of combat mode And he'll follow me. At least for a while. Nope. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Let me run. Song. Weird music. Stop. Hey! There you go. Let me say hi. Hi. And my special trick. Just run away when you're about to die. And uh, fall dead. No, it's like I said, that's why it's so much easier to actually uh, level with, you know, things like soldiers or everything, be anything, because it just is. You, you can go a lot farther, um, you know. You don't need to get up close and personal to your enemies. You pretty much can run away, keep shooting, run away, keep shooting, not get that much damage. Uh... When you're up close and personal, well, you know what happened. There you go, I gotta take everything from here. Thank you very much for left the things. Um, yeah. 
usually wouldn't be a thing for me, but right now it is. Abilities. So I know, guys, it, it, it's kind of like in the beginning of the most because you're going to be leveling fast, uh, faster. Um, it's a lot better to actually just, you know, be able to come in here, uh, do what you have to do. You know, um, and yeah, but after a while, it's going to be taking a while for you to level. Then you're going to be hoping you can get this fast because you're going to have weapon requirements. Uh, and yeah, so that's it, guys. That's it for today. Um, I just want to know, like, you guys have interest in this game. The game actually, right now, it's just the beginning. Um, it doesn't look as impressive, but it's really learning how to do things, just leveling a little bit in the beginning, and then really, it's a huge world, uh, a lot to explore. All right, so. I hope you guys like. Uh, let me know what you think about this game. Let me know if you would be willing to try this game. Thank you very much. Uh, this is your boy Russian. And as always, I'll see you in the game.